creation bears witness to God. Question the beauty of the earth, the beauty of the sea, the beauty of the wide air around you, the beauty of the sky. Question the order of the stars, the sun whose brightness lights the day, the moon whose splendor softens the gloom of night. Question the living creatures that move in the waters, that roll upon the earth, that fly through the air, the spirit that lies hidden, and the matter that is manifest. The visible things that are ruled, the invisible things that rule them. Question all these, and they will answer you. Behold and see, we are beautiful. Their beauty is their confession of God, who made these beautiful changing things, if not one who is beautiful and changes not. say thanks for showing up. Dorothy would love this, you know, <laughs> seeing all the machines out here and whatnot. Uh, I'd like to thank my friend John here for setting it up. He's, he's the main man, John Rosette here. And I'd like to thank the Forest Service too because they, they really made things come together and everything went smooth, you know. Yeah. Um, I'd like to uh, uh, make sure you all sign the guest book because that's, that's important, you know. You can't stop in at Dorothy's here unless you sign the guest book, you know. And even in the summertime, if you came for root beer and you didn't sign the guest book, we took the root beer and told you to get out of here. <laughs> you know, there, there's been a few people asking me and, uh, if Dorothy's spirit's going to go on, and, and it will because she's she's been here for a long time. And, uh, I, want, I want to thank you all for, for showing up, you know, it really, really would have meant a lot to Dorothy, you know, it's really, it'd be like in the old days, in the 60s, when she had all the snowmobiles out here, you know, she had really, really enjoyed that. Yeah. For many of us who have had the privilege of meeting this gracious lady, we will never forget this nor what she has done for us through many years. There are two characteristics that I found that made Dorothy Malter the person she was. And that was her love and care for those who were in need and for visitors and her hospitality. And it was her love for God's created beauty in which we are in the midst of. Helping those who are in trouble, inviting those in who needed help, caring for those who were hurt and sick and injured, and simply being here in case we needed her. There was always coffee on, a bottle of root beer, a smile, and a place to rest. And indeed, we will miss her. Many people took refuge in her cabin when the weather was bad to travel, and always Dorothy invited them in and allowed them to stay. All of us here, in one way or another, have known her hospitality and her friendship. And in some way, our lives have been changed by her in ways that words cannot fully express. And indeed, that was a mark of a truly great lady. The other characteristic that I found that marked Dorothy as a child of God was her love for his created beauty. No one can spend as much time as she had in the midst of God's creation and not know and not be aware of God's presence. For you see, it's out of his love for us that he gave us such beauty to enjoy. 